Good morning, guys. Back in uh, Chennai, India. I uh, just left the hostel. We're um, heading over to get some breakfast. We're going back to the same shop we went to yesterday. Didn't film it yesterday because we had that battery situation. After that, I got to head to the Airtel shop, which is the local communications shop. I'm trying to get this phone business sorted. Should be sorted by now, but uh, I guess nothing comes easy, right? Good morning. So, uh, after that, we've got a pretty big day ahead of us. Uh, we're not sure how it's going to go. We're hoping it runs smoothly, but yeah, chances are probably not. <laughs> we're going to go and try and get a few things sorted for the rickshaw. I brought an inverter with me so we could charge batteries. We plan on buying like a set of computer speakers, and maybe Logitech or something like that. So we've got a bit of a sound system going in the rickshaw there. We've got to do that. We've got to buy a battery so that we can hook it up because our Rickshaw doesn't actually run off battery, it's all just kick-started. After that, we also want to get one of those, like, kind of a lockbox or some sort of roof racks or something to go on top of the uh, rickshaw there, so, yeah, we can lock our stuff up when we go check out some things and whatnot. So, yeah, uh, we'll head off now. It's already bloody hot. It's still in the morning. It never really cools down here, to be honest. Hopefully everything turns out. As you can see, the traffic here is just absolutely nuts. We're, we're not even on a main road here. This is just like a, a back road to the um, to the kind of the suburb that we're staying in. It's just chaos. Exhaust fumes here is absolutely terrible. If you're just constantly walking down the street, just constantly breathing in the exhaust fumes, and like it doesn't take long before it really starts getting you. Like every Al's got a cough, I've got a cough. Yeah, there's not much you can do about it though. We're both really looking forward to getting out of the um, city though, as much as we love Chennai, which we really do. It's an amazing place, amazing people, but. But yeah, we're looking forward to hitting the open road and, you know, seeing some green for a change, yeah? I'll press the button as well. So just across the road here, that's the uh, Airtel communication store i got to go to. But first off, we're going down the road over here to our, um, our new local breakfast, breakfast shop and we'll go grab something to eat there and then, then I'll come back here and Al's got to head back and do some um, do some some stuff on the internet. His uh, bank card's not working. Yeah, he's got a, he's having a bit of a punch on the city bank back home. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully it um it all works out. local spot got recommended to us by the uh, managers at uh, our hostel Ganga tree
so breakfast is arrived. Admittedly, we've already eaten half of them. <laughs> we've got ourselves a cheese toasted sandwich, just like you get back home. But um, we've also ordered one of these things each. Elle, do you remember what they're called? The paneer khaki roll. Paneer khaki roll. That's this guy, right? Khaki. Oh. Yeah, okay. Not khaki. Paneer <laughs> khaki roll. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and um, we also got, you got a mango shake and I got a chocolate. It smells good. Give us a, take a bite and give us your first impressions, mate. No idea. Oh wow. It's like, we like a falafel. Oh yeah. Um, but a bit more spice, a more texture. Yeah. Explosion of flavours. Yeah. Nice. A bit of chilli, which is to be expected. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think I may have found one of my new favourites. Oh, good stuff. I've said that about everything I've tried. Yeah, so. that's, that is true. <laughs> yeah. That is true. I've got 20 new favourites already. <laughs> this is definitely a winner. Well, you've talked me into it. I'm going to hook into mine now. <laughs> All right, so we just finished up breakfast, and you'll never guess what. While we're at breakfast, I pulled out my phone, and the um, the SIM card's working. Oh, right, we got 4G. So yeah, that, I mean, it was meant to take 15 minutes, right? We've heard from other people, 15 minutes. That took 24 hours, on top of the already 48 hours that we'd spent. So. Yeah, I'm just glad it's working. It means I don't have to sit in the shop and try and explain that I've already paid. They don't give a receipt here, so I was gonna have to explain that I've already paid. It's not working. But yeah, I don't have to go through any of that anymore, so that's awesome. So yeah, we're just gonna walk back to the hostel and Al's gonna jump on the laptop, see if he can sort out his bank card. But uh, I think we're gonna stop just down the road here for a uh, for a coffee before we shoot off. Well, Al wants a coffee, I'm all good. Coffee. Yeah, jump in. Yeah. Ready? Say tonight. Ah, uh, was I? I tell you, I wasn't recording that. Press that button. We have a cook. We have a rickshaw. We buy. Uh, bring it up here. How is it, El? Uh, yeah. As, as, we, as we've discovered, I love coffee. Oh yeah. Any coffee, but this is good coffee. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like a double win, really. Yeah, nice. Keeps me going for the day. Keeps me regular. What are these? Lemon tea, lemon tea, lemon tea, lemon tea, lemon and lime tea. Yes, yes. Oh, good afternoon, guys. So we're back at the hostel. Actually, we haven't really left today. <laughs> we're having a bit of dramas with the clutch. It's playing up a little, but it uh, shouldn't be too big of a problem. We're just waiting on. A mechanic to arrive to have a look at it but we're running on Indian time here so it's been a few hours already and we're still waiting but we do have our lovely friend Davla here yeah. and uh, she's going to oh well, she's organized um, the media in is it Bangalore it's in Bangalore, no. yeah. it's in Bangalore. Bangalore um, so we're going to do a bit of a phone interview over the phone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh man. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're going to see how this goes. Yeah. I will record a little bit. Yeah, well, I'll send up that yeah. a phone interview. Yeah. I think it's been forever. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if I have. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping... Um, the, pro the, thing, the little thing that worries me is just the um, me understanding the Indian accent when I'm on the phone is a bit difficult. But um, we'll see how we go. Should be right. 
we'll make it work. So yeah, we're gonna do a bit of a phone interview there and see what happens. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm Bavlia. Uh, Bavlia Anusprin. Hello. Hello, ma'am. I'm Bavlia Anusprin from Chennai. Covering the office today. Yeah, so I'm here. And uh, Uh, you will be speaking to Alex? Uh, both, both. Oh, both. Both? Alex and? Azza. 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 Yeah. We'll be talking to Alex and Azza. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. There you go. Very well. Done. That's your name? That's your name. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, my real name is Aaron. Aaron I'm Alex. Yeah, but in Australia, I'm very well known. Everyone's name who is Aaron. Okay. Is his nickname is Aaron. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. That sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then you. Yeah. I think it's a native to Australia. Yeah. So, it is, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're both in Australia. Is everyone's name who is Darren? I'm is Dazza? 34, Dazza? I turned 35 okay. in one week. Name who's Barry? I okay. guess that's my he's birthday Dazza? in India. Oh, okay. Very exciting. And every girl's name, who is Sharon? Sharon is Sharon. In Australia. Oh, you were under it, yeah. I was in an ad, uh, worked in admin for a construction yeah. company. There's something new and native from Australia. So. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I, I quit my job, I, um, yeah, I sort of decided that it was time to see a bit more of the, a bit more of the world, and, um, it's a bit much to ask the workplace to sort of, you know, keep a job for, Distracting you. Um, I'd never been to India before. Aaron had. Um, he told me some wonderful stories, but also my father uh, travelled extensively in India about 40 years ago. And so I heard many wonderful stories of India while I was growing up. I can see all these slides. Yeah, it just sounds like a fascinating people. Yeah. Fascinating, beautiful place. Okay, um, so yeah, we, Aaron and I, um, uh, sort of started in January this year. We both decided that we wanted to, to do some travel and really make a, a journey out of it. So we didn't think that you know one or two months would be enough. We started at least at least six months. Um, so with that in mind, we told our workplaces that you know, come July we, we probably wouldn't, wouldn't be coming back. Um, we, yeah, and then we decided that we decided on India and then we wanted to do something unique, do something that, you know, probably that was a bit different. Um, and Aaron had uh, taken part in the rickshaw run five years ago and yeah, organised an organized event where people come over and drive rickshaw point to point um, and yeah he told me about that and it sounded amazing we were going to do that originally and then we sort of as we were talking we thought well you know I wonder if there's a way that we can we can buy our own and we had a bit of a, a bit of a look around used the power of the internet and found a um a garage here in Chennai that um is in the business of uh, yeah reconditioning autos Part of the thing that they sometimes sold them to um, to travellers, so we thought that would be yeah, it just sounded like the most amazing idea. Um, so yeah, so after we, we got in contact with them, we went back and forth a bit, we convinced ourselves and our families that a rickshaw was the right thing to do, that it was you know it was safe and safe. Um, 
and then yeah, then we decided yeah, put the down payment. Then the real planning began, I suppose. That was when we decided to uh, we wanted to customize it a bit. Um, and yeah, we did look at conventional, like conventional ways of doing that. There were a couple of auto shops that could do different colors and things like that, but both um, as Aaron and I, as and I, um, so we love hip hop, but we love all the, the elements that go with it, including graffiti, and it was sort of be such a cool experience, and such a good way to, um, it, it, yeah, if we could get, we could find a local craft dude to do, crew to do it, it wouldn't just be, we wouldn't just rock up and it'd be a painted auto, we'd actually get to be part of it and get to, to meet the guy.